We have United 175. A851, flight controls are becoming concerned about and about 175. The two o oh, A851, two jets from oh, this, this Air Force base. It's just like Cars 2, Otis, and the Dog on the Adventures of Milo and Otis. That's on the top. To look for, for American 11. At 9 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's 175. And makes it to New York. They see the North Tower. They're above them, which Flight 11 smashed into. And it is on fire. So they just. They did that. That's where they want to crash the plane. Plane. Yeah. Looks like these chuckle head, head hijackers are getting ready. The, these looks are going to run out. No, it's a big airplane, American. Oh, okay. The twin engine, they said it might be a, a small jet. But the oh. center, I saw the center, and uh, Pete Mulligan said that an American 11 right. Alpha had terrorist activity on it. And yeah, they, they said it was a 75, though. It was a guy out of Boston. It was a 757 going from Boston to L.A., so that, that's what makes me right. And then I, I was tracking them for a while, and then I just totally lost them around 5 North East. Oh. The plane is headed straight for the South Tower. Any minute, there could be an impact. The plane races through the Statue of Liberty, and it is only a few seconds. At 
3 a.m., United Airlines Flight 175 hits the South Tower of the World Trade Center. Holy smokes is right. Everyone one sees the plane that crashed and is I mean, running for their lives. Then, at 9.59 a.m., Oh no, there it goes, there it goes! The 100 South Tower collapses. What do you want to do with your plane? Uh, it's the end.